to base on data. And in the opposition, we don't have data. Whatever data we receive, we believe is manipulated. The stats that the government gave us, we don't really know until they actually printed NEM and, com omit and, and admitted that 30% to 40% of the population is living below 1,500. We never knew that. Yeah? Whatever university Malaya uh, researchers do is not published and been told to keep quiet because I know university of Malaya people. <laughs> you know, I've been talking to them as well. They tell me different things. Now, if you want us to run the government responsibility, uh, responsibly, I can't tell you now what exactly, very specifically what we're going to do because we have a general principle and general guideline. We learn for other countries as well when we know our strengths and weaknesses. We have to look at the data first. I, will, I can assure you in the first year of administration, there will be no economic rollout until we analyze every single data and we talk to every single company what we want to do, what they want. Then we restructure the education policy to, to create workers to fit the requirements of our Malaysian companies. Yeah? But, you know, in terms of very specific to industries, and we're really interested in two industries only in particular, the oil and gas and the palm oil industry. Yeah? Because they're our two biggest earners. In those two fields, we have exactly to the point every single detail what to do. Yeah? So rest assured, those two are on the forefront. Now the other things like manufacturing of taps or water pipes and all those, we just need to gather feedback from them and ask them what do you need from the government? What kind of incentive? Are you looking at new types of designs? Do you need marketing help? You know, that kind of thing takes time. They will take a year. Yeah? But for the oil and gas industry, it's very clear. We stop, we stop this risk-free contract that is going around, which essentially pushes all the risk to Petronas, and all the cronies just do whatever they want. Yeah? That kind of thing has to stop. We have to look at all the... We already have some data on how long this oil is going to last. We have all the data on our exploration in Iraq, our development in Iraq, in Sudan. All those are there. You know where all this data come from? <laughs> Rafizi Ramli used to be the youngest executive uh, in Petronas. He's that brilliant. And people in Petronas, yeah, helps him along and gives him data. So we are, we are very prepared. The next day we go in, we know exactly what to do with Petrodas. Now for the palm oil industry, we know exactly what needs to be done as well. We need to mechanize. Yeah? We know the labor shortage issue. We know also on uh, R&D, there's uh, certain areas that we have to go into now. We must use our palm oil rate, palm oil, and use it as a natural ingredient, natural coloring ingredient. I mean, very, very detailed, very, very detailed, yeah? So don't worry too much, but the rest, the smaller industries, that is not on our radar at the moment. It has to depend on the uh, idea that every policy we make has to be based on data, yeah? And every data that we gather has to be run through a system of cost benefit to test whether we should do this policy or that. Yeah? So, I hope that answers your question. It's not so easy. I know, I know. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.